When I started investigating the application of a contract director type application, it was because my company, CareStream Health, was spun out from a larger company, Eastman Kodak Company. And during that spin out process, we recognized that we didn't have good control over contracts, whether it was in purchasing side, sell side, legal department, we had contracts all over the place. We knew that we needed some system, at a minimum, a central repository, just to collect them and catalog them so that we could find them and evaluate them. The real value of a system, any kind of CLM system, is to have metrics and data available, to be able to automate workflow, to be able to generate contracts from standardized templates, to make sure that the processes and systems around contract management are robust, not just the value of having the repository in place. One of the primary benefits once we've deployed it is having all that information at our fingertips. And once you have the information and you know where are the contracts and what template was it derived from and where was it uh, a properly approved or perhaps maybe not approved, it's really pointing out the gaps in our own personal processes the processes that aren't automated by the tool. It's pointing out where we may have uh, weaker templates in one country or in one segment than another. It's pointing out that we don't have good business models, business practices behind the tool in some places compared to others. So it's really exposing all of those kinks in the armor so that as we go through the next deployment with an upgrade that we're gonna hopefully solve all of those.